Hi everyone, this is Dr. Ronnie again and today I want to introduce you to our styling gel. Styling gel is very soft. It does not leave any residue on the head and it's hair and it's easily rinsed out. And what we're doing today, we're doing a comb twist today. See, we started them very small and at the back her hair is very thin. Now, when you have to do um, startup locks, comb twists, if the hair is this short, what I suggest you do is every two weeks you have the hair shampooed and twisted. So that would grow the hair a lot faster, retain the moisture in the hair, and eventually when the hair is two or three inches long, you can start locking the hair. So when it is two or three inches long, the clients will come in and the clients will come come in and what you will do, you will give a soft shampoo and then you will continue to rinse it. But as I said, when I teach you, we continue with our brick layering and even when you are twisting the hair, you do a brick layering. Another thing that I would tell you is that you do not put the gel throughout the hair. The reason why you don't do that is because it's going to mat up the hair and it's going to take you longer. Okay? So what we did, we, she had a rinse, we gave her a rinse and now we're going to twist the hair. You go into every groove and every corners where you can see the demarcation line and you twist. This is called brick layering. <laughs> brick layering. You go in and you twist. Now, lots of questions are asked. People are using the gel, then they are going in and use a spritz. That's a no-no. You cannot, and I repeat, you cannot use a gel while the hair is wet, use a spritz on it. By the time the clients come from under the dryer, that style, the hair, the scalp will be crystallizing. Why? The spritz and the gel cannot go together. Okay? Remember that. So if that is happening to you, that's the reason why. If you're using gel, you use gel only. Let the clients thoroughly dry. And I mean thoroughly dry. Clients give you all kinds of problems. The dry is too hot. They got things to do. They gotta leave. Now, you have got to control the clients when they are under the chair. Because if they leave with their hair wet, the problem comes back to you. This is Dr. Ronnie. I'm coming to you from Atlanta, Georgia. Give us a call. Take my class. Right now, for a four-day class, we are offering you a gift certificate of $500 that you can pay towards your class. The deadline for this offer is September 1st. So please register for the class. It is a natural hair lock restoration seminar. If you are sitting at home and you want to change your career, join this class and I will teach you how to better your best. Yes, we have a baby in the house today. And I will teach you how to better your best. So give us a call, 678 365 7166. Join our team. We are about to teach the nations. So whatever country that you are in, you can come and take our class. You go in, we, are, <clears throat> we are continuing with our comb twist. And as I said, you have no time to waste over the client's hair. Make sure that you work with speed and efficiency. Do not put the gel throughout the hair. It is very important. Yeah. 
you can try you can also try our product line our product line of for kids adults men women so you can try it for the whole family you can find our product line on www.hcetsy.com forward slash shop forward slash lock treasures l o c t r e a s u r e s Another point that I want to go through is that if your if the hair is thick and the hair is dry, you can wet the hair down. Always make sure that you have an, a spray bottle. You can wet the hair down or you can do the hair dry. If it is dry, what you do when you subsection the hair, you make sure that you comb it through, then you twist it. The reason why is that you do not want to be continually tugging on the hair. So you comb it through, then you go in and you twist it. This client's hair is very curly. So what we did was, in order to change the texture of the hair, we conditioned it for four to six weeks shampoo condition it shampoo condition it and now her texture is changing before you start to lock because if you don't do that first the hair is too curly see over here how curly it is her whole hair was like that the textures are changing so we still need time for the back so if you see that's happening you don't know what to do take our class we will teach you all of these small things that you don't know we will teach you. Keep twisting until you finished. Making them small, very consistent. Now, another thing, when you, are, when you are twisting the hair, do not twist the hair and pull your comb out like that. Leave the comb in the roots like this. Go slowly until the comb comes out like this. So we're going to do this one over. Holding it very gently, no pull until it comes out then you place them before you put her under the dryer you place them make sure that they're flat make sure that they're consistent before you you put them under the dryer because just the way you put them under the dryer it's just the way they're gonna dry It's all the gel you need. You do not need to have the comb full of gel like this. 
and it's falling all over the place. You cannot control the gel like that and you're wasting it. So what you do, you leave it in the bottle and you take little of the end of the comb. It's going to work. twist in the hair, whether it's for style, whether it's for getting it prepared for locks, this is the way you do it. You can even get all of the edges like this. See? 